Let us now go to the paper of April 2023, question one. April 2023, question number one. April 2023, question number one. So the question says that a survey was conducted to establish the number of faulty components for our production process. The results indicated that 0.001% of the components produced were faulty. Each machine produces 10,000 components. You are required the probability of there being three or more faulty components, assuming a Poisson probability distribution. So with Poisson probability distribution, first of all, we write the formula. The probability that X capital is equal to X small, we know is given as E, you raise power minus lambda, then lambda you raised power X, and then you divide by x factorial by x factorial so uh, lambda is the mean so the mean we are told it is uh, 0 0.01 percent of the 10,000 components. So tell me that is how many units? How many units are those ones? One unit. One unit. Okay, so Rabda is one. So I believe we know how to use the calc to get E. So X, we are told, is uh, three or more. Three or more. So when you are told three or more, we exactly mean three or four or all the way up to infinite, which we do not know. So because that would be so big, eh, we can then come here and say probability of X being greater than or equal to three, it can as well be handled as one minus probability that X is less than three. Probability that X is less than three. And what we mean is that this will be one minus probability that X is either zero or one or two. Zero, one or two. So let's come here and say probability that X is zero. It is uh, going to be E, you raise power minus one, times one, which is raised power zero. You divide by zero factorial. Give me the answer to four decimals. I believe that everyone knows how to go about it.
Waiting for the answer. Hey, where is the answer? If you don't know how to go about it, you let me know. How do we get uh, E? Okay. You press, uh, first of all, can you see a button? First of all, press Shift. Shift. Then there is a button that is written I N. It's called Natarun. Add on the base of it, you can English power X. Can you see it, Margaret? Yes. Ah, yeah. So we press Shift, then your button. What appears on the screen? E. E. So when E appears, uh, if you want to know the, the value for E, if you want to know the value for E, you press one, press one now, and I've press equals. Tell me whether you get 2.7182, something like that. Yes. Yeah. 2.71828. So that is the first way you can cram the value of 2.7182. So Sasa Kikuja Hapa, although that is not what I wanted to do. Okay, put half of Kisha Adika Ivo, Utavika 2.7182 raised power minus one times one out of raised power zero out of zero factorial. So that is an alternative. But I don't want us to use that involving. So Nataka Rudi then a press shift, then press that button. Are we back there, Margaret? Yes. Now, okay. if you are back there, you see this one has a uh, negative. You don't press, you don't press your Kamchale Akurusha do. You don't press that one. The value is already raised to. Now, press the negative sign, Kenya Kakokwa, I think it's on the right hand side. Kenya Kanakwa Kwa brackets, Ivo. Press that. Then press one. Then press one, then press times one. So via you raise, raise power zero. Then press divide zero. Then press shift. Then press the button on a factorial. Then you can inside. Then press equals. Uh huh. Miss Ome, what you have got in Margaret? Margaret, you got there. Do do I have to press uh, because my factorial is uh, is uh, I have to press shift to get. Yes, uh, you say my press shift, then you press your button in your factorial. I have to press equals. I think I made an error. Uh, anyone else who has gotten it? Yes. Ah, uh -huh. Zero point three six seven nine. Six seven nine. Good. All right. Let's go to the next one. And Margaret, you unmute yourself to be an here. Probability of x being equal to one equals e raised power minus one times one raised power zero. You divide by one factorial. 
Margaret, are you ready? Molly, we have a question. Yes, Beatrice. Is one supposed to be raised to power zero or power one? Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, this is supposed to be power one. Thank you. The value of X here. Thank you. Margaret, I'm waiting for you. Are you ready? I'm going to put the answer. So I hope she's following. So the others give me the answer for this one. Beatrice, what do you have? I'm still getting the same answer. Yes, it should be the same. It should be the same because zero factorial is just one. And the one raised power zero is one. So it should be the same. Uh, let's go to the next probability that x is equal to two. So that's what the same and e raised power minus one times one raised power two. You divide by two factorial. The answer. Beatrice. Hey. Sam, what is the answer? Kevin. Oh, Sam has already sent 0 0.1839. Okay. So if the figure is not disputed, we proceed and say probability that X is greater than or equal to 3 should then be 1 minus uh, 0 0.3679. Minus 0 0.3679 minus 0 0.1839. So you subtract, give me the final answer. Zero point zero eight zero three. Okay. So if we are okay with that, we proceed to part B. Nasema, the sales manager of XYZ Limited estimates that the revenue function of the company is linear in nature. He has observed that at the selling price of shillings 200, the company sold 6,000 6, units. When the company increased the selling price per unit to shilling 700, the company sales increased 1,000 units. 
The cost accountant of the company estimates that the cost function is quadratic in nature. The following data was provided. So you are told to get the revenue function, total cost function, and the profit maximizing level of production. Okay. So that brings us to the question uh, similar to the one we had, I think, in, in the other paper, the paper that we have just finished looking at. So I told you we first of all come up with what we call the demand. The demand or price function. The demand or price function. When you are given the selling prices and the quantities. And we say that the general format is that P is equal to A minus BQ. That's the general format. So you substitute because to Nabiwa at a price of 200, we are selling 6,000 units. So when the price is 200, this will be A minus 6,000 B. And then when the price goes to 700, demand goes to 1,000. So 700 minus 1,000 B. So sasa hii unaanza kusovu. Nasema minus. So this becomes minus 500. And this becomes minus 5,000 B. So tell me the value of B is what? Value of B, your Nagoja. Zero point one. Then if that is true, Ukuja two hundred is equal to a minus 6,000 times 0 0.1. So tell me the value of A will be what? The value of A will be what? Value of A will be what? Eight hundred, good. Value of A is eight hundred. So down there you say hence, hence P will be equal to eight hundred minus zero point one Q. That is the uh, price function. That is the price function. Uh, the next safari you take, you put after total revenue function. Total revenue function. Now the total revenue function, TR, it is the selling price, 800 minus 0 0.1 Q, you multiply by the unit sold. The same revenue is the selling price times the unit sold, Q. That's a here, it generates to become 800Q minus 0 0.1Q squared. That is the total 
revenue. Let me reserve in terms of here. It is 800Q minus 0.1Q square. That is the total revenue function. Salsa, to tap the total cost function. Now, total cost to now it is quadratic. So, total cost function. Total cost function. Now, total cost function TC. The format will be a q squared plus b q plus c. That is the format. Q is squared. So, that's a kwanza. Tachukua ya kwanza useme 79,000. is equal to Q squared. Tell me 100 squared is what? 100 squared is what? Ten thousand. Good. So 10,000 A plus 100 B plus C. This one, we call it equation number one. We call it equation number one. Ah, yeah. We had a kwa huyo mingine, 26,000. Is it 26 or 76? 76. 76,000. Tell me 200 squared is what? Two hundred squared is what? Forty thousand. Forty thousand. So forty thousand A plus two hundred B plus C. That one you call it equation number two. And then you take the last one. One twenty four thousand is equals to tell me. 400 squared is what? 160,000. 160,000 A plus 400 B plus C. You call it equation number three. Then we will say removing C from one and two. So this one I will not duplicate. You people, you are now very ready for the exams. So you should be quick to see some things. So we are going to subtract. So 79 minus 76, that gives us what? I need the answers from you, 79 minus 76. 3,000. 3,000. So we get 3,000. Uh, tell me, uh, 10 minus 40 is what? Negative 30,000. Negative 30,000 A. After we will give me 100 minus 200 is what? Negative 100 B. Negative 100 B. In this one we call it equation number four. Then we proceed and again say removing C from equation two and three. From equation two and three. 
sasa niambie 76 minus 124 26 minus 124 Ngoja tu noti na hali. Negative 48,000. Ndani mm. ya bia 40,000 minus 160,000. Negative 120,000. Negative 120,000 e. And finally, two hundred minus four hundred. Negative two hundred B. Negative two hundred B. This one we call it equation number five. So what we shall do from there is now to seek to remove uh, B. I think B will be easier. So Tasema removing. B from four and five. That's how we are going to up a job, but I have to copy again the equations. Then, eh? up we will multiply this one by two, and this one you multiply by one. Now it's here to up a instead of copying them again here. So the first equation we multiply by two. So this one becomes a uh, six thousand. Z equals to minus sixty thousand a minus two hundred b. Then this one becomes minus forty eight thousand equals minus one twenty thousand a minus two hundred b minus two hundred b. So. In this case, I will subtract. I will subtract so that B disappears. That's a mere B. Six thousand minus minus forty-eight thousand is what? Six thousand. Uh -huh. Minus 60,000 minus minus 120,000 is what? Minus 60,000. That should be positive 60. Because this becomes a plus. So it's minus 60 plus 120. Are you able to agree with that, Margaret? Yes. Good. So now from there, tell me the value of A. Zero point nine. Zero point nine. Then to keep it to say, I'm using equation. Uh, using equation five. Using equation five. Nakuja hapa niseme minus 48,000 is equal to minus 120,000 times 0.9 minus 200B. So solve from there and tell me the value of B. I hope you're able to solve that. Hii takuja na huku ikue plus.
the value of b or 300 is it positive or negative on a kevin and seven 300 positive sam and seven negative oh should be negative you know not the hillary at sema so negative 300 so if it's negative 300 then uh using equation uh one using equation one we will talk of uh seventy nine thousand being equal to ten thousand a times zero point nine plus one hundred times minus three hundred plus c. Tell me the value of c. Hundred thousand. Three thousand. So that means our total cost function should be zero point nine Q squared minus three hundred Q plus one hundred thousand. So come on, you new query. We proceed and get the profit function. So total profit function. Why you get the revenue, this one, which is 800 Q minus 0 0.1 Q squared, you subtract the total cost, which is 0 0.9 Q squared, minus 300 Q plus 1,000, I mean 100,000. So if I open the bracket, this will be pi is equals to 800 Q minus 0 0.1 Q squared minus 0 0.9 Q squared plus 300 Q minus 100,000. Minus 100,000. Putting like terms together, I get that pi, these 300 to join this one, that would be 1100 Q. Then this one, they join, they become one Q squared. I have to back this 100,000. Sasa, ukisha afika hapo, the next thing they want to get is maximum profit. Maximum profit. So for you to get the maximum profit, you differentiate with respect to Q. This function here, 1100 Q minus Q squared minus 100,000. And you tell us it is supposed to be equal to zero. You differentiate the profit function. Tell us is zero. So this one, when you differentiate, you get 1100 Q, sorry, 1100 minus two Q is equals to zero. So tell me Q is how many units?
550 units. 550 units. That is what should maximize. So hence, profit should be equal to Naweka hapa kwa 100, although hawako wa meuliza, they only require D of I-15, but tunaweza yueka hapa times 550 minus 550 squared minus 100,000. Tell me how much that would be. How much? Our time is almost over. And I'm thinking because of uh, this challenge of the Zoom, yeah, 202500. I can see our lesson Bakisha, like just 20 minutes. So let's not come back. Let's call it a day at that point. Uh, you can take that time to revise more. Then uh, we shall pick up from there on Thursday. <clears throat> we shall pick up from there on Thursday, God willing. Thank you. Thank you so much. But I could join again for some few minutes. Then we end the class. Let's call it a day at that point. We meet on Thursday, the usual time. <clears throat>